instantaneous power and average power. Let us consider the most general case in which current and voltage differ by a phase of 5. So we can calculate the instantaneous power. In the most general case current and voltage differ in phase by an angle 5. So instantaneous power will be V into I where V is V naught sine of omega T and I I naught sine of omega T minus 5. This is the phase the current is with respect to the voltage. We can expand this and rewrite it as V naught I naught sine of omega T. This expansion sine of omega t cos phi minus cos of omega t sin phi v naught i naught this term we can write it as sin square omega t cos phi minus sin of omega t cos of omega t sin phi so power instantaneous we can write it as v naught i naught sin square omega t cos phi plus this we can expand and write it as 2 sin omega t sin phi by 2 sin square omega t cos phi minus sin of 2 omega t sin phi by 2 sin square omega t dt 1 by t should be equal to half and sin square 2 omega t dt for 0 to t for a cycle is equal to 0 so we know 1 by t integration from 0 to t sin square omega t dt is equal to half and 1 by t integration 0 to t sin of 2 omega t dt is equal to 0. Substituting these two values here we can get the average power. Power average will be now v naught i naught. Now for 0 to t we are taking the average sin square omega t we can write it as half 1 by 2 cos phi minus sin 2 omega t we can write it as 0. So this can be written as V naught I naught by 2 into cos phi. V naught by root 2 I naught by root 2 can be written as V RMS I RMS. So average power will be V RMS I RMS into cos phi. This will be the average for, for any electrical circuit where cos phi, phi is the phase angle. Cos phi is called power factor. Cos phi, we can write this one as power factor.